Hey friend, welcome to the Diesel Mercedes YouTube channel. I have here 1987 300D Turbo, which is equipped with the 603.960 turbo diesel engine. And there is a problem with the turbo wastegate, it's seized. To deal with that problem, first I'm starting with removing the wastegate actuator actually that's my first step if you want to see how it's done just watch this video so do not waste your time with removing bolts for half an hour obviously this is the wastegate actuator with its rod coming over there right so it's attached to that whole assembly with three bolts the first one was right there that's the one and then two more are or were right here one and one is in the back that took a while to get to it because again it's very limited access now i'm giving you detail of how it's attached you can see there perfectly how it's attached right here that actuator arm so i will remove it and pull it out of the vehicle the sun is making it difficult to uh, film it, but you see the actuator sitting right here and it's attached with that hose to that pressure outlet right here so I will take a pliers and just slip this clamp and remove the hose from this uh, attachment point and now here is the whole uh, wastegate actuator you can hopefully see it nicely here that's the hose right which is bringing the pressure to it and I'm ready to test it. Meanwhile, because I have a seized that wastegate here, I will keep applying there on that rod the penetrating whatever catalyst and hopefully later if using pliers I will be able to loosen it and make it working again. Now really quickly give you understanding how it works. This is hooked to the intake manifold. The turbo is pushing a lot of air under the pressure into the intake. This is connected to the rubber diaphragm which is inside and that pressure is pushing on it. When the pressure is pushing on it, it starts extending this rod this way and that will start opening basically the passage in the turbo where the exhaust is and it will start blowing some of that pressure uh, away so it will be slowing down the turbo therefore uh, regulating the pressure in the in intake manifold. To test this unit I need to apply the pressure right here and see if the rod will start coming out. I was able to hook it to my bicycle pump so let's see when I pump in it if the rod will extend or not. And you can see it's perfectly working. I don't have an accurate gauge here. It tells me that it's approximately 18 psi. Can pump a little bit more. As you can see, it's coming even further. Right now I have 20 psi. But my goal was here to just make sure that it's moving. There's no leak, there's no hole in that diaphragm inside. Also, I can see it's holding holding pressure there's no leaks and that's all I can test right now at this moment and I'm happy with those results with uh, this simple test for this car what I'm working on and for the problem which I have there that was enough that gives me enough information that I can depend on this part and it's working properly so stay tuned even better subscribe because I have way more videos coming your way soon Thanks for watching and have a good one.